Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Inner, and I have a really cool script, especially for someone if you work like in branding or you work in a website where often you, you want to, you know, you're displaying your URLs and you want the capillation set in a certain way or just where people often have the text wrong and let's say they want a different word in there. This is a great tool I just wrote. Uh, I'm going to be using it myself a lot. Let me jump into it here. Very simple. If you go to theautomator.com slash swaparoo, that was the URL above me earlier, you can get this script. And we're going to walk through it here real quickly here. So here's just persistent means it keeps it running. Now I add this no tray icon that right now I have, I don't, I haven't reloaded yet. When I do this, it's going to get rid of this tray icon because in the long run, this is something I'm going to have leave running all the time. Now I'm going to comment it out so I can easily come in here and reload this, right? Normally I have my other hotkeys for it, but right now I'm just going to leave it like this. And yeah, persistent will keep it running. Single instance force. Of course, we don't want to have multiple instances of it. And there's no reason for an environmental variable. What it does is it monitors the clipboard. And if the clipboard has changed, we call this clip changed function, which jumps into here. And when it, this apparently is a built in variable. I didn't actually read the, the documentation on this. I just looked at the quick example and said, hey, if the type is one, if the type is one, the clipboard is text, right? So every time the clipboard changes, this function will get called and it's going to jump in here. Hey, if the type is one, so hey, if it's text now on the clipboard, let's go do perform the swaparoo, which is the function I wrote. And here I have two examples. Once is where we look for the automator, the dash automator.com in lowercase, and it's going to swap it out with whatever I want. I could put bugaboo in here. It doesn't matter, right? Um, and here, just for an example, I put lowercase Joe with Joe, just so you can kind of see it working, right? Um, so, if it's text, if the clipboard has text, it's going to call this function, which jumps down here and searches and says, hey, if I look for the search term, which right here is the automator, if it finds it, then do the search replace. And oh, by the way, this one right here, this is saying a case sensitive one. Now, I could change this to zero because for the most part, it wouldn't matter. It'd still be fast. However, in this example, I'm using it just for myself. And I'm always wanting this. So it's just going to speed it up and only say, hey, only do this swap out if this is, you know, automators is this exact case. So it's got to be this specific case and then it'll only perform it. Otherwise, it would perform it anyway, which of course it's so fast, who would care? But uh, it's going to go through and do it. And then it'll come back and do the next one. Now, because I have it doing the in search, you know, string here, because up in here, I, I have to keep this all kind of tied together. So let's go ahead and demo uh, how it works. So that is well this will work fine so let's say you know come um oh and notice my hot string of course has it with the capitalization i want but when i export from my website when i get a hyperlink often it has the lowercase capitalization and that's really annoying to me so i'm going to hit Control c and now watch when i paste it has it capitalized you know that is freaking voodoo magic as far as i'm concerned uh, or if i did joe here now if i copy this and paste it's uppercase joe so you can just think about it. if you work in like a, a branding office where you need certain things a certain way or when you display the urls like often you'll see the one you had you saw earlier i want them to look pretty right so this is a it, it seems like a simple thing but uh, and it, it is simple however trust me in corporate america this it takes so much time to make sure that you do this stuff right and i'm like why don't i have this going and what i think i'll do at some point is come back in here. I'm gonna make a GUI that will make this part very simple so people can enter the text on the left and then what they want, what they wanna search for, what they wanna replace for, just have it like in a list view and make it very simple so they don't even have to come into and program with it. But if you want this code, uh, you can go to the, the automator slash swaparoo. Uh, please make sure you like this video if, if uh, you wanna see more videos from me because uh, you know it's the input I get back and how many people like it makes me wanna make more videos. Hope you enjoyed that and let me know what you think. Cheers.